At the back of the books, you'll find the Burns poems that inspired the stories. Following on from the story, The Farmer and the Field Mouse, I'll read the interpretation and poem of Tuba Mouse. Small, sleek, cowering, timorous beast, oh, what a panic's in your chest. You need not start away so hasty, hurrying and scampering. I would be loath to run and chase you with a murdering plough stick. I'm really sorry man's authority has broken our relationship with nature and confirms your dislike, which makes you scared of me, your poor earthly companion and fellow mortal. I doubt not, sometimes but you must steal. What then, poor beastie, you must live. An odd ear of corn in twenty-four? That's a small request. I'll have plenty with what's left and never miss it. Your little house too in ruin, the silly walls the winds are spreading, and nothing now to build a new one of coarse grass, and bleak December's winds ensuing, both bitter and hard. You saw the fields were bare and empty, and weary winter coming fast, and warm and comfy here beneath the blast you thought to stay, till crash the cruel ploughman passed, knocked you out of your nest. That little bit of leaves and stubble has cost you many a weary nibble. Now you're turned out for all your trouble, either house or holding, to endure the winter's sleet rain and frosty cold. But, Mousie, you're not alone, and planning for the future might be worthless. The best laid plans of mice and men go often astray, and leave us nothing but grief and pain instead of the joy we planned. Still, you are blessed compared with me. The present only touches you. But, oh, I backward cast my eye on chances I've missed. And forward, although I cannot see, I guess at and fear. Wee sleek it, cur and timorous beastie, oh what a panic's in thy breastie! The need na start the way so hasty with bricker and brattle. I would be late to run and chase thee with murder and paddle. I'm truly sorry, man's dominion has broken nature's social union, and justifies that ill opinion which makes thee startle at me, thy poor earthborn companion and fellow mortal. I doubt now, whiles. But thou may thieve. What then, poor beastie, dumb and love? A demir and icker and a thrave? It's a small request. I'll get a blessing with a lave, and never miss it. Thy wee bit hoosie do in ruin. It's silly wa as the winds are strewin. And Nathan now to big a new in, O foggage green, and bleak December's winds ensuing, both snell and keen. Thou saw the fields laid bare and waste, and weary winter coming fast, and cosy here beneath the blast thou thought to dwell, till crash the cruel coulter passed out through thy cell. That wee bit heap o' leaves and stibble has cost thee money a weary nibble, now thou's turned out for all thy trouble, but house or hold, to thole winter's sleety dribble, and cranach cold. But, Mousie, thou art not thy lane, and proving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes of mice and men gang after glee, and lee is not but grief and pain for promised joy. Still, thou art blessed compared with me, the present only toucheth thee, but, oh, I backward cast my ee on prospects drear, and forward, though I canna see, I guess, and fear.